Have you ever wondered some great kitchen hacks that will actually help you to preserve certain things to last longer or even to just make cooking much more easier? Well, that's what I'm about to show you right here on this episode of Miss Mandy Throwdown. If you follow me on Snapchat, well, if you don't, the handle is right up here. You should go ahead and do that. Just do it right now. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, if you follow me on Snapchat, you know that I like to share a lot of tips or even cook a lot. And while I'm cooking, I tend to share with people how to preserve something to last longer or certain tricks on how to make cooking much more easier. And that's why I want to show you guys four simple hacks that will completely transform how you view things that you have in your kitchen to last you longer. So let's get started with the first hack which is how do you preserve your dania, aka cilantro, or any fresh herbs that you have to last you much longer? Let me show you how you do this. You're gonna take your Ziploc bag, have plenty of these at home, and then you're gonna go ahead and put in your dania into the Ziploc bag. Close, make sure all the air is out. And then you're just gonna Zip up your Ziploc. Just make sure all the air, again, is out. And then just store this in the fridge. So that's number one. This is cilantro. On to the second one, which is, of course, mint. We're just gonna put it in a simple plastic bag. Make sure all the air is out, and we are gonna tie it up. Dania, especially when you get it from your mom and boga, you're always thinking, how do I make it last long and make food still taste great and also garnish well? Well, just put it in a Ziploc bag. Mint, I use it for my salads. I use it for this lamb that I have in my fridge. Whew, can't wait for the throwdown. But I tend to just preserve my herbs like that. So that's hack number one. Hack number two is how to make your tomato paste last you longer. So once you have it opened, and after you use it, just put in a little bit of cooking oil. This will make it last longer, it will not go bad, and you can also store this in the fridge or leave it out in the open, depending on what you have at home. On to hack number three, which is one of my favorite ways on how to store your flowers in order for them to last you much longer than they usually um, do last when you put them just out on the shelf. So let's start off with the fact that I always have a ton of Ziploc bags in my pantry and I put all the flowers into the Ziploc bag. I just make sure all the air is out and then of course just put it in here. This has been used so many times but the fact that it's lasting me long is because of the fact I use Ziploc bags. I do the same thing for my chapeau flower, all-purpose flower. Anything you have, just make sure you invest in Ziploc bags. It makes storing much more easier and it makes the flowers last longer. This is hack number four where you get to actually part cook your potatoes in the microwave. It's my favorite hack. It makes cooking potatoes so much more easier. Before, all we used to do was literally just have to put them in water, but the microwave has completely changed the game. And you can do this as well for sweet potatoes, if you have some butternut that you want to just, you know, let them get soft real quick, you can be able to do all that. So once all your potatoes are diced, or whichever way, if you want them in wedges, whichever way you prefer them, just put them into a container. Now, once you have your potatoes in your container, you're gonna go ahead and, of course, cover it. Now, you're not gonna cover it completely tight because you want the air to circulate in order for the potatoes to get moist. Once you have this ready, you're gonna put it into your microwave. Those are about five potatoes. I'm gonna be par cooking them for about three minutes first to see if that's gonna help them get tender. Then, if not, we're gonna definitely increase the time. been three minutes, it's time for us to check on our potatoes. To be quite honest, this is my favorite kitchen hack. Reason being, it's made cooking for me so much easier. All I have to do is peel potatoes, stick them in the microwave, put them in for three minutes, depending on how many potatoes I have, and then, of course, just go ahead and whip up something. Let me show you guys how soft and tender these potatoes are. 
like seriously super tender and I'm looking forward to the fact that this hack is going to be so helpful to you guys on the next episode where I'm going to be whipping up potatoes three ways with this simple hack so make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet also share with me what are some of your favorite kitchen hacks I'd really love to learn from you now I'm not gonna be digging in but I want to let you know that you need to like comment and if you have not subscribed yet what you waiting for what you waiting for and go ahead and share this video of course until the next episode from me peace <laughs>